good luck. So this marks week 127 of the teaching ladder. Um, if we remember right, in week 126, our opponent played this opening as Gota against me and defeated me. Uh, I have two ideas about what to do against this, and one of them has my fascination more than the other. So here we go. This is going to be uh, a subject of some scrutiny. <laughs> you know? Show me what's wrong with this idea. Okay. If I push, if they push, I take. It looks fine. Hmm. Hmm. I've been curious about this, okay? <laughs> like, legitimately curious. To what extent is this playable? We have to find out. This is science here. We do science on this channel. Alright, I think I might give up on my little experiment, however. As, uh, like, well... Hmm, how dedicated am I to this science? I wonder. Because, like, Silver 6-6 six six looks quite interesting, to be honest. But Silver 4-6 six six or whatever, 6-4 here would be the meme. Um, man. Okay, we can't play the entire game down a tempo. Shogi never works that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll fight back this way. For a second there, that looked pretty interesting. At any rate, we've succeeded. <laughs> Hey, look, it's the thing, the crab silver thing that we just learned about this Sunday. Um, I don't know that it's playable here. Is it? Is that really a thing in this position? Hmm. Hmm, fine. Okay, you can do this, I can do it, right? All right. We found a way to play this. All right, let me just double check. I did capture the board in my overlay. Yep, that looks good. Um, so yeah, if this silver moves diagonally here to three seven, then this pawn hangs. But if the silver moves in front of the king, then it obstructs its own bishop. Granted, I just obstructed my own bishop, but I'm not so alarmed about it. Oh. Right. Um. Mm. Right. I knew that. Um. Okay. Whatever. 
this I've had better. Um, but I should drop back my bishop at some point. Maybe now. I don't know if now is too late. Hmm. Alright, so now I have to react to this thing. Wait a second, really? What? Um, no? That's not how this works, I don't think. Okay, I removed the attacker. Um, what the hell? Okay, we activate this bishop. This covers the vulnerable spot and allows me to play the kneeling pawn if and when necessary. Um, yeah, this spot looks too vulnerable. Maybe I could have held on holding the pawn with a silver drop, but I'm a bit skeptical about that. Or rather, maybe I'm just having a reaction to last week, where I tried to hold on to the position and the pawn, and things horrifically backfired in the worst possible way. And I'm trying desperately to avoid a repeat of that situation. So I'm trying to play this extremely cautious thing at this point. Maybe that's what's going on. Um... If I drop my silver, they can drop their silver, and it doesn't help my defense much. Um, yeah, they defend the center long before I smash it to bits. Um, hmm. What a messy position. Silver, silver, oh wait. Wait a sec, if I push this edge pawn, no, that's just a bad idea. To try to cover this, I could drop a silver in front. That might be the best, because this is loose. Um, the problem with such a silver drop is that I'm not defending this point. Um, maybe that's not such an issue. Silver Knight takes ta what the I think I'm always set against Rook takes. All right, we're going to attack. None of this trying to hold on desperately and defend against everything. We're just going to attack.
So the king's right there. Yeah, there are things that would be nice, like if I push this pawn and drop this here and their king were walled in, that would be a nice bonus. We don't have that bonus. Right now we have to play this defensive and attacking move. Um to try to bait bishop takes, or the silver drop on the edge. But if they do this, that can't be used over here. Hmm. See, so yeah, I think next I'm intending this pawn, this silver, this silver, etc. But I'd like to push this too. It's just if I push this, then their gold might be able to move up at some opportune moment. Maybe, wait, maybe I missed pawn up, pawn drop, gold take. No, I don't have a silver drop behind because the rook defends. Never mind. Uh, I just don't understand how to attack this. I'm working on it. Oh, if the silver were up here already, then... Hmm. Hmm. It's a bit presumptive to say a tactic would work there. But anyway, yeah, if I can push this pawn and then bring the silver up and push this, things might trend in my favor. Oh, if I push this, they just take my pawn. Hello. Um, hmm. Silver, silver, or I'm sorry, they take here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this just feels right. I, it's too much to calculate. I just have to play on feeling here. <laughs> So if they drop a silver in front of my king, I can attack the bishop, and then this becomes prone. Or rather, my silver can retreat to hit the bishop, and the silver hangs. So this liberates my other silver to do the attack that they started. Keeping track of this is hard. just double checking did I have a chat window open here and I do it says against the edge king push the edge pawn um, well we don't have the edge king far from that maybe I should have considered pawn 5 5 pawn takes and, and dropping the pawn and 5 3 but that seems a bit insane. It blocks my bishop. It's just a bad general idea. So I'm threatening pawn eight six, pawn eight seven, etc. Um, that's my idea. And anything that accelerates or supports that is also my idea. Maybe my opponent intends, I don't know, something to try to discourage that idea. Or they might try silver 6-6, six, six, 
to try to make this position more confusing. Um, which it would. It suddenly dawns on me that if they take my second fall pawn, I can drop a pawn on 2-6, and that might make my position even stronger than a pawn on 2-2. Two -two. Um, yeah. Interesting. Uh... Okay. Don't want to give a silver for a knight. I don't want to give my pawn. <laughs> At some point, I can't get everything I want, can I? If I attack here, if they take this either way... Oh, rook takes looks pretty scary. Um... Hmm. Well... Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. This is going to get messy. Wait, I could retreat the silver. And they could still do rook takes, and I could take the bishop. But that's not going to happen. Um... So if I retreat the silver, if they take, um, I can push, oh, they could bring another defender, but I think I always, no, I don't always break through. There's some circumstances where this breakthrough fails, um, so maybe I need to push it immediately. Oh wait, there's fun tactics here, aren't there? Silver takes, rook takes, I take a knight. If they take back, I drop the knight. This forks two pieces. They take my knight. Or they defend this gold, but then I take here and I have an attack. Um, judging attack speed is challenging. Okay, we're going to just shoot for the moon here. So, yeah, we're going to bring the silver up and then drop the pawn in front and just break this down no matter what. At least long term, that's the plan. Short term... Um... That's also the plan. Let's just do it. Ah, yes, this reinforces the shape. Um, let me take here anyway. There we go. This is the story of a breakthrough. There we go. Sharp stuff. Ultra mega sharp stuff. It took a lot of discipline not to move the silver. And it took even more to be willing to give up material here. Without, like, I don't see this out to mate or anything like that. I just see I have a rook, and that rook needs to do something. And to make the rook do something, uh, sacrifices are required. Um, so that's, that's what motivates this. S, yeah.
you know something's up when I'm playing super aggressively like this. Like, generally I try to consolidate my position a bit first and then attack, but nope. Here we go. We're just attacking. Um, does this work? I don't know. Depends on your definition of work. If knight takes, I just take the gold with promotion, which I think is possibly crushing. So, like, I would expect not knight takes here. I don't know what I expect, but if knight takes, I take a gold and it's a promotion and it's... Um, my rook has a clear purpose here. Um, okay, I guess this tries to hold the position together. They could drop another silver to protect this silver. So I'm not checkmating on the spot uh, or anything quite like that. It's It feels close, but it's not that close. I could take the lance with check. They would block. Let's, in fact, the bishop supports this defense as well. Um, hmm. So my dragon achieved uh, what they call sabaki. Its meaning and purpose and etc. Like, it's... the dragon's doing quite well. Um, if I drop my gold, if they drop a silver, gold takes... I'm sorry, no, I just take here. If I drop my gold to support this attack, it's not enough. Oh, it kind of threatens the knight if I do that. Um... Hmm. Hmm. What a mess. Yeah, this advancing knight is a point of some concern. I think that's the more sound way to handle this. Um, yeah, the bishop has to... Oh. 
Okay, well, that is a reaction. Um, I forgot that exists, but it might not exist. I originally planned to bring the knight out, but it seems to just make me vulnerable to do that. So I'm going to react with force. And now I think this makes the bishop retreat. Um, and I had intended a pawn drop here next. They might sacrifice the bishop. And I think I'm prepared for that as well. So all I need to do is stay one move ahead of them. Um, これより両読みに入ります。Hmm. I thought I saw something here.
30秒。40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10これより秒読みに入ります30秒。40秒。1、2、3、4、5。30秒
40秒50秒12345678あ、ah, OK Hmm. Hmm. 30秒。Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Um, yeah, this pawn drop is a bit scary. Uh, I did make some justification for Mina dropping the pawn back here, but it's not. Good. <laughs> Such a bad justification. Thirty. 
30秒40秒30秒ふんふん40秒。I think this is the best I can manage. I don't like. Chasing the king out like that. Also, they might drop a pawn. <laughs> But if they do that, my direction becomes clear. I hope I'm not missing a mate. Yeah, they have this lateral check, but I think I'm okay. Sanjudio.
40秒50秒1234567891ラストチャンス30秒40秒50秒1234567891ラストチャンス秒30秒40秒50秒1234567891ラストチャンス Oh, this check. And this retreat. I looked at it. I forgot I would promote moving in reverse. Oh, that could have been something. But it might not have been enough. This might still be accurate. 40秒うん。This not good. 50秒。Takes might be game. 三、四、五、六、七、八、九。Oh my goodness. There's too much to look at.
40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1三十秒。四十秒うん、30秒40秒50秒123456 Hot. Oh. Um.30秒40秒12345678910
30秒40秒30秒40秒30秒30秒40秒30秒40秒50秒1234567年30秒40秒50秒1234567年
30秒40秒50 Sorry, I'm impatient at the moment. I'm not playing my best. I need to block with something. Spent the past duration here trying to figure out what to block with. Do I need to block? ご。30秒40秒50秒1234567秒。30秒。OK, I survived this. Anything they can do to give check would constantly give away pieces. I have survived and therefore I win. OK. Yeah, any contact check I can meet by taking all the checking pieces. I guess you're counting perhaps the number of checkmates that both of us have missed, if I had to guess. <sighs> That's hard. Shogi's a tough game. It's good to practice simpler checkmates so you can work out stuff like this. Oh, wow. I had a slight panic there for an instant. Um, hmm. I'm embarrassed. I should know if this is mate or not mate. This sort of thing I should be good at. I want to say Rook Drop is mate. 
I don't actually know if it is, so I didn't play it. Rook drop, gold takes, rook drop. I just... Yeah, I missed a mate. There aren't very many puzzles which feature you have two rooks in hand, by the way. <laughs> like that? I haven't seen very many puzzles like that. Um. I continue to be embarrassed. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. The only way this checkmates is if I draw... Well, if I were to exchange golds, the only way this mates is if I draw the opposing king up the board. So I don't think I'm exchanging golds here. I'm evaluating all these. Well, not every possibility, am I? If I saw every possibility, we would have this game by now. <sighs> but yeah, this gold defends the second rank quite nicely. There is a saying to prefer a long, a short suma, or sorry, a short hishi over a long suma. Meaning that, you know, if you see a way to win, the way to win is good enough. But that's only Sanjibyo. if you see it. And don't make that a general policy, because you want to be able to find these mates. Um... Yeah, so... Ay, ay, ay.
Hey. Um. Sanjubio. Yonjubio. Oh, the king runs out. Good lord. Well, he missed it. Um. Oh my goodness. The reason I saw this and did this was so I could exchange a silver for a gold. And in so doing, break the shape down and force a mate. Um, I am super blind. I apologize. Thirty <sighs> I swallow my pride and I take the peace. I am impressed how durable a castle can be in this face of adversity. I am quite impressed. It's part of what makes this game so beautiful, is that it's extremely difficult to win. Um, but pros make it look easy. Hmm. Okay, even I can't lose this one. Uh, sure, yeah, after the game. Uh, yeah, we'll be glad to look at it. Yeah, this is one of our teaching letter games. Oh, thanks for the game.
see I do behind this is that um, I want to first allow my opponent to say and whatever they whatever they want to do in terms of reviewing this game. Yeah, but we would greatly appreciate your analysis. So to the extent that my opponent is cool with it, yeah, I'm cool with it. Um, if not, we could just wait until they're done. <laughs> and but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Alexi is offering to help us figure this out. <laughs> so as long as Mizuti is cool with that, we can do that. But the idea behind the teaching ladder is that both players get to review the game. Um, I'm, I'm sure we're glad to accept any advice, etc. So, uh, yeah, whatever it, my opponent's comfortable with will do. If I had lost the game, then I would be asking uh, either that we could do the game review first and then do that, or that we could please get the help right away. But yeah, whatever Mizuti would like here will do. Probably had a Suma and move 68. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can I? How does this website work? There's like some sub host button thing. And over host. Allow sub host. I have no idea what. Uh, sub host and host do, but we're going to learn this together while we learn the game together, too. Uh, it's mate in one. Okay, so I missed a mate in one. Okay, so we have this. This. I get that that's... Mm, I'll look at it. <laughs> yeah, that looks uh, sharp. Cool. Okay, so this category of everything where the king starts to run out, it doesn't actually escape. I see, because I have a bishop. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Um. Wait. Oh. King starts to escape. The bishop starts to corral it. Let me check. Oh! Oh! I've seen a mate like this before. Yeah, you drop the gold in front. Okay. Yeah, because if the king runs, then... <laughs> okay, this is new. That's really clever. Um, yeah, there's only so far this king can run. Uh, so somehow I missed this. I mean, I guess I didn't exert enough effort looking at that and kind of gave up on that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, wow. That's really cool. We can force the king all the way up the board in order to checkmate it. Wait, this mates? Oh, yeah. Uh, the rook drop, and then all they can interpose with our general. Oh, well, yeah, okay, that's even more direct. Yeah. Rook drop mate. That's how you checkmate if you have a gold, two rooks, and a bishop in hand. Or, I'm sorry, just two rooks and a bishop. Uh, I'm not accustomed to having that, but um, that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. I can give Alexi full host status, so he can show whatever he likes to show from any position. Um, See, so yeah, now he's got the cap. So now I understand the difference between those two things. That's cool. So, okay. So I can run, though, right? Oh, shit. This running is more... Okay, maybe this is perilous. Uh... Wow. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this... okay. That's pretty cool. Wait, really? Yeah. The king seems to actually be able to run here. Yeah, <laughs> the one space gap dragon is something I've seen before. It's, yeah, it's perilous. So the one space gap certainly, I guess the zero space gap is just as bad as something I learned today where there's like no gap between the king and the dragon and it forces the king around. And, and, oh, okay. I guess, the, yeah, that's a reasonable way to try to escape. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. Uh, yeah, my mistake. I didn't see this check. Okay. So yeah, in this variation... Um, hmm. Um... Yeah, this looks... I mean, I'm eternally the optimist, but that actually looks like it escapes. Um, I wonder, though, what about this? Doesn't this... oh. Okay, yeah, you can use a pawn instead of a gold uh, to block. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's so close. It's so, so close. Yeah, this is what I was looking at, but... I'm I'm not s oh never mind. This yeah, this looks good. Uh you'd have to like block with a bishop or something. Yeah. Because uh this check lands. And now the bishop drop on the head's not ma oh, but there's a gold drop. Oops. Uh Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, so I guess the bishop's not the right piece to drop then, because that's kind of an issue. So you'd have to try something like this instead. I don't know if bishop takes is still enough here, is it? Um. Hmm. It looks like. Hmm. The rook takes pawn still mates here, right? Doesn't it? Because I gave a silver instead of a gold. Oh wait, but no. If you had two golds, they're just made on the side. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay, this also mates. I see. Wow. That's pretty cool. So does that mean back here after Rick takes... Oops, sorry. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. This is more direct. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see, I was just about to ask about this, but you're right, this is actually more straightforward.
Ah, uh, the joys of online analysis. <laughs> And you drop bishop 6 1. Yes, yeah, so the silver takes bishop 6 1. King takes. This is check. Oh. Well, that mates. But if the king, well, okay. Yeah, that mates. What about variation three? What about this one? Um, hmm. Sorry. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I missed something. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, the rook drop is clever. Yeah, bishop drop mates here. That's that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, this. Uh, well, I say this looks straightforward, but maybe it's not. Uh, oh wait, never mind. There's a golden hand. Yeah, that just. Um, you have to block. <laughs> yeah, and here you have enough generals to mate. Uh, all it takes is two. That's pretty cool. wonder about the first bishop 6-1 line. Yeah, something didn't quite pan out there. Um, oh, never mind. That's okay. Yeah, endgame is vital to victory or defeat. Um, yeah, you need to know this stuff. And, like, I don't know it. Um, I've faked it quite some way in this game, but, yeah, that's something I need to work on. Oh, yeah, now we're going to get through the positions where... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I must have missed something with my abundant attack. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this. Hmm. So, okay, this, um, there's a problem with Igoma. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that bishop drop. <laughs> oh, even that works, yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, that, that horse in the corner is a vital attacking piece in this case. And mate. Mm -hmm. Right, I saw this. 
Well, at least once we started into the variation, I saw it. Um, hmm. Yeah, you don't even need the bishop in hand here. This position's just that overwhelming. And yeah, if I try to, well, there's probably a, a different mate, but that works, certainly. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Every move was check, and that's mate. Yeah, Melkor is impressed. Melkor missed last week where I lost to Mizuti. We have some good games. But man, it shows where my strengths and weaknesses are. Like, Mizuti's got my number. Oh, this is actually good. I did think about this. Yeah. Uh, what was I thinking? What about the... Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Mm hmm Okay, but... Um... Hmm. Sure. So yeah, that certainly slows my opponent's attack. And this would slow my opponent's attack too, but this actually defends laterally. Pawn drop again. Okay. Oh, wait. Wow. Okay, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if they go lateral. Oh, yeah, that's even better than my idea. Nice. Yeah, even, even if it was just gold 2-7, that would be good enough, but this is even better. Okay. Yeah, that slows the opponent's attack and allows my attack to speed up. I completely missed this. Oh, I'm sorry, I saw pawn 2-7 and failed to play it because I didn't see this continuation. Okay. I guess I'll inquire, can we analyze from the beginning? Uh, sure. This is how I generally recommend we do analysis, but in this case, our endgame was so full of errors that um, I think it made sense to start with the endgame. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's fine. Uh, so let's speak a little bit beyond the opening here. I mean... Uh, Uh, possibly this is quite good. I just don't know. Like, if I take, take, um, Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, it's like if I do this, this covers that point. Um, Yeah. So yeah, I need to just try this. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'm okay. I took some chances here. Uh, I don't really know this, but... Anyway, that's an idea. 
Um, yeah, we played this out of the opening. Uh, what was it? Hmm. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I've got this, got this, I've got this. I don't know what to try. Hmm. Maybe exchanging the silver might be the way to go, but I really don't know. There's a lot going on in this position. Um, yeah, it's tricky. Um, I guess, for example, like if we did this... I don't know, really. There's just so much to figure out. Uh, I promise I'm not toying around. I just genuinely am completely lost here. Um, maybe we take this, and maybe, oh, which I don't know. This is such a mess. Yeah. So, what can they do? This is just, yeah, I'm extremely confused. I it's rough. Um, maybe you take the token. I don't know. Well, that can't be right either. Never mind. Um, hmm. Maybe the silver move can't be afforded right now. Okay, thank you. Um... So, okay, so you had a plan of exchanging silvers here. Hmm. Like, you think you're targeting these. Um, 
Yeah, maybe <clears throat> maybe I can get away with this. And my rook's... I mean, my rook is not in this most comfortable place ever, but um, maybe it's fine. Yeah, this king move. That makes sense. Defending 6 or 8-7 is usually a critical point in Urashino. That makes sense. Or yeah, eight seven here. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This actually, I guess that looks. It's a wild position, but I think this we found something playable. Um, so that's kind of what we were aiming for. Yeah, they've not got the king into the castle. There wasn't time for that, but this, this looks okay. So I guess my pawn advanced to eight six. Yeah, I think I've seen this shape before with gold, gold, uh, silver bishop. <laughs> it's quite resilient to attack, so yeah, that makes sense. So I just went ahead and exchanged silvers proactively. Um, Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this this got sharp. Mm. Yeah, I'm a bit curious about this. This is kind of a mess. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, he needs an extra defender on his left. Yeah. Um, I guess that makes sense. Hmm, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that did concern me a bit, that 1, 2, 3, even though knight usually hits very slowly, um, it hits with a good effect. So they played this silver up. So this makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why you'd move the silver. Um, here I wanted to undermine the bishop's support and make various spooky threats. Uh, hmm. So I wonder, does that mean then... I don't know... Maybe this works, but it does block the knight, but I don't think you can hear so much about the knight here. Or maybe the silver in the center is the correct shape. Um, yeah. Uh, Uh, see so yeah, how the bishop can attack and retreat at will here. Um, so that's an idea. Instead, uh, 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 yeah, 
let's uh, try to remove this guy. Oh, wait. I wonder, you know, if they'd done this. Hmm. With the idea being I'm going to attack both here and there. Um... Oh! I see. Okay. Yeah, just because the rook's on this file doesn't mean it has to stay on that file. It might be better placed in the center. Um, maybe. It's all situational. All right, so, um, yeah. Um. So I think that's my insider impression or whatever about this. Um, that, like, I'm forced to attack. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> better to have some defender than none, I suppose. Yeah, at least there's some defense, but... Oh, I'm sorry, you mean this one. Yeah, this looks painful. Uh, yeah. I forgot that exists. Yeah. Um, so they put this pawn out. Yeah. <laughs> So, I guess in retrospect, the night move is just a big mistake. Welcome. Hello, we're analyzing on 81 Dojo. Um, so... Uh, defending attacks against this castle can be challenging at times. Um... Yeah, if this pawn were up a rank, it would be, the issue point would be moved, and this could be maybe easier. Um, I don't know. Maybe just bring this up. Or maybe it goes back. I don't know. Like, I'm quite stumped. Oh, this silver drop? Really? I haven't thought about this. Um, that's sharp. It gives pieces room. Um, oh, that does defend the head here too. Yeah. Okay, so that's the motivation. Um, hmm. So, I have to push this anyway. Um, yeah, this invasion is so severe. So... If I push this, I guess maybe you take it first. Oh yeah, you take it first. That makes sense. And I take here. And then I do this. And to somebody who plays Static Rook, maybe this sort of attack looks familiar. 
Um, not sure silver seven six is correct. I mean, we could look at this possibility. I think I just take it. Like, yeah, at this point, I just don't hesitate. We just take all the things. Um, this exploits the pin once more and threatens everything. Um... Yeah. Hmm. So I'm not sure what's exactly going on. Maybe it's fine somehow, I just... it's a bit much. I don't play Static Orc a ton, but here we are, playing something that looks quite similar. Uh, Silver 8-8 eight eight instead of Silver 7-6. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, and this seems to slow down my attack, and then we get to play a more normal game. I think that makes a lot of sense. That's a good point. Um, yeah. And I still need to come up with better attacking ideas, but at least I'm the one attacking here, which is kind of nice. I mean, that's not going to last long, but... Hmm. Ah, okay, so this is called solid because it's necessary. So it's not too heavy. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I'm learning something new each day. Yeah. Okay, so this is just how people use words in general. That's That seems a bit judgmental, but yeah. I guess if this is how people use the words in general... Um, then I should adapt myself to the convention, rather than trying to change the convention. <laughs> so, yeah, my attack takes off. Um... <laughs> yeah, many things surprised me. So, like, uh, so I didn't expect this. Um, I'm not totally sure what I did expect, but I was thinking some kind of, I don't know, regroup. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess.
guess solid is used. Oh. Well, dang. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wow. Okay, that's that's quite the convention. How using the language seems challenging. When... Okay. Uh. Uh, I don't suppose there's a neutral word other than heavy? Like, how are you supposed to speak about a concept as, I don't know, weighty? I don't know. <laughs> like, we all understand that a pawn can attack swiftly. Um, hmm... I'm trying to think of something uh, not heavy or solid. Uh, yeah. There's something uh, which uses material but is neutral, I guess. Wow. It seems difficult to to talk in terms of, like, I'm using my gold, or I'm using... I guess you just say what you're using. You don't characterize it. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. You could say in cases where you don't know... Hmm. If uh, a drop is good or bad, I could... Uh, just say I'm using a gold or a rook, etc. Rather than trying, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's that's a bit tricky. That's a good lesson though. Um Yeah. In general, like much of my commentary seems to be quite neutral um until I really understand what's going on. So, but yeah. Anyway, uh he thought my opponent thought he could grab this pawn. Uh, yeah, I thought I could grab a bishop. <laughs> uh, this uh, got pretty wild. Yeah. I could be very mistaken about what's going on in this situation. Um, yeah. I could grab a bishop. That was my whole idea. And that suppose you did retreat. Uh, I don't know what I'd planned here. Uh, I just like maybe this. Um. Yeah, I, it's a bit challenging. I don't have the temperament to play this sort of thing, I suppose. Oh, sorry. I should give Alexi host so he can clue us in as to what's going on. Because I'm quite stumped. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, 
this is this is a wild, wild thing. Yeah. I saw this. This looked enticing. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping for something like that. It would have been quite nice. Um, so I think that's what justifies this. So because that's justified, therefore you need so Well, I guess we have the line that we have in the game. Blocks the rook. So, yeah. Maybe I had something cool here instead of what I did. Yeah. This looks so severe. Mm. Mm. So the king, uh, um, yeah, I really want the king to stay there. Um, So, like, yeah, hypothetically, if I do this and just mate, um, yeah, this is kind of what I'm shooting for. Um, here, Yeah, I think this drop just doesn't succeed here. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. Hmm. Oh, Alexi recommends that we run here or suggests it. Yeah, this this looks concerning though. Uh But, hmm, maybe the answer is after the pawn drop to run here. Um, yeah, so we do this drop. Um, I don't know. Ah, uh, it's, it's hard to remember where we're at. Um, hmm. 
But yeah, this seems to pull a castle back together. Somehow. Um, hmm. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, maybe I should have tried this. Um, Bishop 5-7. Um, okay. So, oh, does this fail? This might fail. Wow. Uh, huh. Such sharp stuff. Yeah, no, I think my attack, it's not quite there. Oh, this is one of the reasons... Okay. It's 2-7 pawn first. Oops, my pawn 2-7. But what about this rook is... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, if you can distract the rook, this is great. Uh, oh, yeah, so this... I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah, that makes sense. That two seven pawn here uh, deals with all of this. Um, yes, I'm able to win this piece. And yeah, this other line with the gold drop in front of the king does secure the king. So, yeah, this bishop drop doesn't quite cut it here. This pawn drop is the right idea. Um, hmm. So, anyway, this is how the game proceeded. Um... I almost didn't take the drag or rook. Um, I was thinking something like this, maybe. And this looked really confusing. Gold drop here. Um, oh, I don't have two golds, do I? Wait a second. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. This doesn't work. How? Hmm. Wow. Black will get some play. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Yes, I... I don't have that. I don't have a win in this position. Um, okay. What about this? Um, I apologize, it looks like I'm rattling off random moves, and maybe I am. It's just such a rich position that I'm wanting to explore it a bit, but also, like, it's, I'm way in over my head here. Just why during the game... I shied away from this extremely um, volatile variation. Um, feels like there's something here.
but just it's really hard to see what. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you might be right. This is so complicated. Only because I'm not willing to admit that I'm lost here, but... Um, maybe I should admit it, but this is just not good for me. Hmm. Can't take the knight. Uh, at least not for this instant. So, is there still nothing here? Oh man, this is such a hot mess. Um. No, maybe. Can I hit this? I wonder. Like, yeah, my king's in some danger, but surely their king is also in danger. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I didn't read out how much danger my king was in before saying this. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so my king is, uh, yeah, it's a threat mate. It looks that way. If I survive, it's the most bare form of survival. Um, the only surviving idea might be this. Where my king runs out the left side and relies on the bishop to contain the dragon, but um, this seems a bit fanciful. No, I'm sorry, this might prevent Suma directly, but like, surely I'm lost. Um, this just gives up a bishop. Um, yeah. So that's a threat mate renewal. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a sur a way to survive this attack. So that's to say that this knight advance doesn't cut it. Um Hmm. Okay. Well, that's humbling. I guess this pawn drop was perhaps not a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, the underlying concept here is that it's super difficult for me to checkmate when I'm also checkmated. <laughs> or then the mate threats are rolling in. It's... I. what can I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
surprisingly, I say. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the dispute or argument or friendly argument there was that it's one of the drawbacks of Hiroshima. Well, I'm the one. Um, <laughs> well, that's debatable. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, if he wants, I could give him host again. It might be more effective to show it this way. Um, well, I don't know. Like, I'm attempting to play it um, with not very much knowledge of the thing. Of an ever-growing knowledge of the thing. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is my idea of if how to defeat Hiroshino Ryu. Uh, play it against them. Which is super weird. Um, but that's how we tried to play it this time. Yeah. Yeah. Alexi's greater point is that uh, King's safety um, yeah, so that's the greater point that Alexi's trying to offer here that like when my own king is in peril and I don't have a ton of pieces to attack with it can be very difficult for me to attack. Um, yeah, when you have a, a really solid castle, attacking becomes a lot easier, because you only have to worry about one king, and not both. Um... Okay, thanks. Yeah. So we'll move back. Yeah. Yeah, the spawn drop here. I mean, yeah, everything's hanging, but because of this, this is a very good counter. Um,. Which spells out that I need to do something first. But what do I do? <laughs> uh... Yeah. So, I was mistaken. Um... So I need a better idea. Hmm. So yeah, I'm sorry, the better idea was just not allowing the situation in the first place. Apparently, night takes night. It puts me in peril here. Um. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, this is much better for me. Um. I 
guess this position's even. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I'm having a very hard time accepting that this is, in fact, even, but I'm not seeing a winning attack idea either. So, yeah, it must be even. Um, yeah, I just... If anything, maybe I'm... Uh, maybe this is actually just terrible. Because, uh, like... My whole idea is that you can't do this, and you did the rook move anyway. Um, yeah, it's super rough. Um, I guess we'll take a look. So I did this bishop drop. You did this rook drop. Uh, makes sense, I think. I didn't see a better attacking move, so it looks quite sensible. Um, hmm. Yeah, somewhere around here. Yeah, Alexi points this out. Oh, something. Uh, here. Yeah, uh, what's up? Oh, this line. Oh. What? That's, that's something. Um. This? Wow. What? Uh. Oh. Hmm. So it's night drop here? Um. Or the other one. Okay doesn't actually matter. So, okay, yeah. So this has to be countered this way. <laughs> All my attackers are gone. Oh, silver 4 or 5 instead? Oh, man. Oh, this. Yeah, I see. Dang. Or gold. Oh, I guess, yeah, gold is perhaps easier to understand. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, so if the king runs, this is mate in one. <laughs> yeah, Mizuti. <laughs> yeah, you gotta know this stuff. You're not gonna beat a two dot if you don't do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm lazy doesn't mean you should follow my example. Uh, so, oops, no. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just a very simple direct mate in one if I move the king up. Never mind. Uh, I knew that. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> uh.
yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any. Uh. Every game. Yes. Yeah, checkmates happen every game was my point. And Alexi's point says this is very important to practice to improve. If improvement's a goal, checkmate practice is the way to get there. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, Yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, so the moral of the story is practice the checkmate puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Good game, good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, we started the post game analysis discussion already understanding that, like, we were exhausted. <laughs> from what just happened. Uh, this probably didn't help that very much, but it was still fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, the overarching themes we learned about, uh, it was, uh, we learned how the language is used conventionally. All right. Yeah, we learned um, that solid it refers to using material in a way that's good, and heavy refers to using material in a way that's bad. And there's just not really the word for using material in a neutral sense. Uh, which, okay, that kind of eats at my inner physicist, but sure. I need s so... yeah. Um... Anyway, so eventually I got lucky and did find a checkmate at the end of this game. It took me all of my pieces to do it. It was quite embarrassing. And we missed a mate in one. So perhaps, just maybe, I need more checkmate practice. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so what are the morals of the story? So my one idea I had here to defeat Orochino Ryu, uh, this strategy that was developed by a very strong amateur player um, by the name of Orochino, and he figured out how to use the Rook effectively, so it's the Ryu is Rook, um, or Dragon, sorry. Um, so, yeah, we've one way to try to play against it is try playing it. I've always been curious, and nobody brought up this particular opening idea. So I decided to bring it up in my ladder game and just, you know, have a conversation. Oh, are you in this sense of style? We're learning multiple words today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's a very poetic language, and it's good to learn it. I see. So yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I've heard it's called Urashino style so many times. It actually refers to the style of play. Um, interesting. Different kanji. Wow. At some point, I do want to get around to playing... Um, I have a PC game in Steam, 
Uh, it's not going to teach me a whole ton, I don't think, but I still do want to try playing Learn Japanese to Survive at some point. I think it'd be fun. And yeah, there's simpler editions, and then there's an edition of the game that's about kanji, which I assume is very challenging, but who knows? Um, it's been a while since we tried Museum Madness, which taught us the beginnings of Chinese writing, so... Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in. Um, so, yeah, here we tried playing the Orishino style opening against Orishino style just to see what would happen. I've always been curious about this, and I figured who better to ask than my well studied opponent of this opening who beat me in last week's teaching ladder? Um, so, yeah, I figured I want to pose this problem to him and see what his ideas were. And so we ended up playing a really, really sharp game. Bear in mind, I generally don't play static rook openings, so I'm like super out of my element here. But we found a way to make this work anyhow. And yeah, this... Unfortunately, this... When did this gold move happen? When this happened, yeah, this allowed me to speed up my attack greatly. Because uh, it cost him one move to move the gold and another move to eventually move it again. And so this gave me two free moves uh, speed up, even though I'm playing Gota. Maybe next time when I'm playing Senta against him, I might still try the same thing, but maybe I should study this a bit more first. But anyway, that's what happened this opening. The middle game very quickly exploded into an end game. My opponent tried to grab a pawn, I tried to grab a bishop, and he actually allows me to grab the bishop, and consequently, uh, Alexei's point about pawn 2-7 greatly accelerating this already wildly out of control position is uh, well noted, that this is the way to take advantage of my opponent trying to grab a pawn and then exchanging and speeding things up even further. I'm, yeah, I usually don't play this super aggressive fast stuff, so I thought it would be fun to try. Um, yeah, and then we had a series of embarrassments again and again and again. Somehow I did accidentally manage to checkmate my opponent, although not after having lost the game several times in the process here. Um, oh, yeah, there was one variation that I still remained a bit confused about in here. Uh, was it... I'm trying to recall. It was something like this. And... Um, something like this? I don't remember exactly how this went. Um, maybe the rip dragon sack was not part of the... I don't remember. I think we were looking at this line and talking about how... The, no, that's not right. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. There was some line in there where maybe... This isn't completely mated, but it looks like I'm dead. It really, really does. I think this forces... Um, maybe this was it. But then that's a check. Anyway, the greater point is that I need to work on my endgames. Because, yeah, this was such a sharp game. When am I going to find time for it? When I stop coding Lee Shogi, I guess. Um, so, eventually. But yeah, the, this is such a sharp endgame. Um, and some simpler patterns are missed. you got to work on the simple patterns first, and then you could work out your way up toward this complex stuff. During the game, I noted after I moved, like five seconds after I moved, I noted, oh wait, this mates. And it does mate, like very clearly so. Um, at least I'm convinced that this mates, which maybe isn't the same thing as it actually mating. But yeah, they cannot give me a gold. Maybe they give me a silver here. 
I was convinced that this mates. Maybe I'm still very mistaken. Maybe it's best that I didn't do this this time. If I was certain this mates and it doesn't mate, maybe I made a good practical decision. But it's still embarrassing to not understand the difference between mate and not mate. Um, that said, you don't have to use the rook there. The silver here gives me another rook left over. Um, oh my gosh. This should not be this hard. This really should not be this difficult. Oh, then we check here. And this is surrounded. And then this lip lands with a contact check and a contact check and mate. That's what I should have found. That would have spared some embarrassment after missing so many things earlier. Um, so that's what, mate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We count this, it's always an odd number, so I didn't count it right. One, two, oh, is this direct? Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Mate and seven. I missed that. Yeah. It's always an odd number because the player who gives the checkmate goes first. Anyway, I missed this, missed a variety of other mates by both players, most of which were more complex than this one, but some of which were not. Um, anyway, yeah, it's an exciting game. Um, we got to learn something about the opening, and that this apparently the double Urashino style opening is playable. Um, maybe there's some flaw and nobody knows about it yet. But so far, at least in the scope of the teaching ladder, this seems to be a thing. Uh, so I might try this more in the future. At least until somebody refutes it, and then I'll have to find a different way to play against it. But if you can't beat them, join them. Seems like a decent philosophy here. We play the games so we can learn not just the opening, but so we can learn middle game and end game strategy too. Um... So, yeah, it was uh, my missing two things here it was pretty fun. I was glad, actually, I found this shot here. But, uh, I don't play Static Rook, but I found this anyway. Um, I missed two things. One, Alexi's point about Pawn 2-7 accelerating this already wildly out-of-control position that I was not anywhere near prepared for. Um, strategically, emotionally, whatever. But two, I was really surprised in post-game analysis that this rook is extremely effective and that my attack is suddenly gone with this rook up here. Whereas back here, uh, with the knight in the way and all this, like, if I just drop the pawn, this position's far better. And suddenly, now that the rook's out, I'm in tremendous danger. And this... I don't think is better for me anymore. This looks worse for me. Uh, like, I have a gold in hand, I have a gold here, I have a bishop in hand. But I don't, I'm missing three of my generals on the board. Admittedly, one of them is in hand. And yeah, they have a ton of pieces, and I really don't like this position at all. Um, but. Who knows? It's. Uh, this is Urashino. You have to know it. It's not quite as challenging at, in terms of memorization as side pawn capture is, or some other openings are, but man, you got to play this accurately to play it. And here, we just barely managed, barely managed to win against Mizuti. So we'll look forward to future editions of the Weekly Ladder and see what surprises those hold. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.